right, Steve. So I understand that you're the uh, director of product management for hybrid cloud applications. Can you tell me what a hybrid cloud application is? Absolutely. So a hybrid cloud application is an application that runs on top of our cloud. So for many years, I was a vCloud director uh, product manager, and I worked on building the cloud, both the internal and external cloud. Now I'm working on applications that ride on top of the external and internal cloud, providing value to our customers. And is this so, you know, the, the real model today as we see it is the private and the public cloud, right? So our customers have already invested in resources and training, et cetera, for their private clouds. They don't want to get rid of that, but they also want to leverage some public cloud resources. Is this, is this connecting that, fixing that gap? That's exactly right. And in fact, our first product in this area is called vCloud Connector, and it does exactly that. It connects your vSphere environments as well as your internal clouds to public clouds that are out there. And what resources are available for customers to use today with this? I mean, service provider-wise, et cetera. So that's another great question. The second piece of our product puzzle is a website called vcloud.vmware.com that's launching here at VMworld 2011. And it's a directory of our 50 plus uh, service provider partners that have already launched compatible clouds with, uh, with vCloud. So Eddie, how did I know that I would find you here at the Genius Bar? I don't know, Doug, but it's, uh, it's good to see you again. How you been? I've uh, been doing very well. I, I was just talking to our old friend Steve Kishi. Of course. And uh, he was talking about uh, hybrid cloud applications. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'd like to get down the stack a little bit and talk to you about vCloud Director as we did last year. Absolutely. So vCloud Director 1.5 we're launching this week at the show brings a lot of new key features uh, that folks have really been asking for. SQL Server support first among them. It's been something folks have been interested in for a long time. We've got uh, some of the fast provisioning technology that people who were familiar with Lab Manager will be really, uh, really excited about. But it's a lot more well integrated to the rest of our management software stack so that the, uh, the ability to manage your cloud really continues to improve even as we bring new features out as, as part of that. And one you didn't mention, uh, I, I always get hit on, is uh, the thin provisioning or Delta files. Is that yep. in 1.5 now? That is, that's what we call fast provisioning or what we talk about when we say fast provisioning. The, the technology under the covers is actually using link clones, which has been used in Vue and so forth, um, but we've taken all of the lessons that we've learned from Lab Manager, from, uh, from Vue, and really implemented this in a way that is maximally compatible with things like storage vMotion, with things like cross data store migration and cross data store provisioning, to really allow you to continue provisioning quickly into your virtual data center without having to understand the hardware or the, the layout of the infrastructure supporting that virtual data center. Hi, Jen. I was just talking to uh, Steve Kishi and Eddie Donnell, I guess about more of the data center side, hybrid applications, um, and, and uh, vCloud in the data center. I hear you're the service provider guy. Um, it, can you give me a little background on that? Is vCloud Director different for service providers? Uh, any interesting tidbits? No, yeah, definitely. I mean, we have, uh, we're pretty excited, right? We, uh, we just announced a new vCloud data center partner at uh, uh, Dell Services, which is a great partner to have. Uh, we also launched today our new feature, which is a uh, global connect feature for a part of vCloud data center services. And our customers can use all of this today, right? Absolutely, we have a lot of partners out there that's already running these servers in production. We have Colt, obviously, uh, Blue Lock, Singtel, SoftBank, Verizon, you know, Dell is the new one today. All these guys have services running. They have customers going at, you know, running uh, their production applications in their environments. So, yeah, absolutely, you can go there today, you can acquire services. Great, well thank you very much for your time. Hi Claire, I just talked to several of the product managers around our vCloud data center suite and I understand that you're using a lot of that technology here in the VMworld labs. Can you give me an idea of what that is? Absolutely, this year is no different than any other year. We love eating dog food from VMware. We, we use every product we can. This year we've um, updated everything. So we're running 5.0 MN across all our ESX hosts. We're 1.5 with VCD, so the Toledo, the brand new VCD. Uh, and of course, we've loaded up with all our labs and all our automation software to bring it to uh, 480 seats. One of the questions I get a lot is around scalability with vCloud particularly. Uh, I thought this might be a good use case. Absolutely. In this room here today, we're running a single instance of VCD, and we're running upwards of eight to 9,000 virtual machines in this room uh, across six, six to 700 vApps. I would say also it's probably pretty hard hit, right? They're doing a lot of provisioning and deprovisioning. 
Absolutely. We've got an interesting use case here where we kind of run it like a restaurant. We want people to come in, sit down, enjoy their lab, and then we've got to turn that table over and seat a couple more per, per each dinner seating. So we're turning and burning every hour. Still, again, somewhere in the 45 to 5,500 VMs an hour are getting created, stood up, started, used, and then uh, deleted and, and disposed of. Cool. Can I see any stats around what's currently running, load, et cetera? Absolutely. This year is no different than years before. We always try and come up with clever ways to show what's happening in our environment in a more graphical sense instead of just boring numbers. Uh, we've got a great fishbowl application that you should go and check out with Eric. Here we're showing the aquarium on all four sides of this Jumbotron. Um, this is actually representing the entire organization, so all of the lab computers we have here. Every fish represents a V app, which is a collection of virtual machines. It shows how many virtual machines there are there. We have 3,800 right now. Um, all of those big striped fish are the virtual data centers, and all of the fish that follow it belong to that virtual data center. Now, when we turn off a V app, it'll actually swim down into this fish cave that you can see on the right there, and it'll disappear, and a new egg will be created for it. And when we turn on one, one of the eggs will disappear, and a fish will swim out and join its VDC. This is a way cool, so I have to imagine that some customers will think this is cool also. Can they use this? I mean, what, what's the story? I think the plan is that um, we're going to release this as like a cool, flashy thing for vCloud Director, and anyone should be able to use it and apply it to their cloud. Cool, thanks a lot, and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your internship here. Yeah, thank you, no problem.